Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. This is Jyoti Rajan Singh from Sky Skill Academy. Here, as you know that uh, in uh, India or across the uh, world, uh, that is uh, the EV industry is booming. So, in order to uh, get or to order to get place in the uh, EV sector or in the core, core sector, Sky Skill Academy have uh, recently developed some of the technologies which will be helping the students to. Uh, learn more about EV and to get uh, EV technology. So uh, in the back of, uh, behind me you can see uh, here is a completely three-wheeler test rig. Means here, uh, here, whatever the three-wheeler you are looking in the market or the vehicles that you are looking in the market, the total three-wheeler setup has been placed over here and how the power system is delivered from the batteries to the motor, everything will be explained and everything is been given each and every uh, harness or each and work of each and every wear of uh, wears uh, will be uh, known to the students or we will talk to the students like here you can see uh, here i have a battery pack okay which has been developed by our students i'll be uh, heading towards this uh, uh, battery workshop station so here uh, you can uh, see here positive and negative are both are there uh, which is delivering the power but uh, the negative one is directly connected to the controller and the positive one is given through the MCB because when a, a very high voltage or power has been induced to the system so this MCB will be tripped out and it will be protecting all my circuits here the uh, whenever so what happens then then whenever I'll be making my key on that time what happens the power from uh, the battery will be delivered to the key uh, through the MCB then to the controller and DC DC converter okay when the controller will be on that time my motor is ready to propel and when my DC DC converter is on my every components and every parts is ready to propel now you can see whenever I'm turning out the indicators okay that time the DC DC converter is supplying 12 voltage or reducing the power uh, to the 12 voltage and then again it is coming to uh, the lights then Whenever I want to uh, give an acceleration, whenever I want to give an acceleration, you can see this power, this acceleration power which acts as a fan, like a fan regulator itself means uh, how your fan regulator works, whenever you turn it, that time voltage increase or decrease, the same goes with this accelerator. That time what happens, whenever I press it, that time the voltage uh, or the signal will be going to the controller, then the controller will be deciding what amount of voltage is needed to propel the vehicle that much amount of voltage will be delivered from the battery to the controller then that will be delivered to the motor okay here we don't have any reverse gear in the four wheeler segment or three wheeler segment we don't have any reverse gear so just we'll be changing the polarity of the motor by the controller the help of the controller then my motor is will be moving in a reverse way. so uh, in according to that what happens these changes is been done by this controller okay so here also we have another segment to uh, like without key also we can uh, on our vehicle so as like as our, uh, other vehicle ic vehicles uh, here also i lock my vehicle then i will unlock my vehicle now you can see my vehicle is going to start without any key i am just propelling my vehicle so this is also the new technology that we have introduced here also we have we are just implementing a uh, technology where we can uh, switch on through the phone uh, it is on a process actually whenever uh, like uh, it will be done uh, uh, timing uh, it will be done uh, so yeah uh, it is under process so here from, from the phone itself also you can uh, make your vehicle broken okay now when it comes to uh, this thing Whenever it comes to this two wheeler test rig, here uh, uh, the connections and everything is uh, like little bit different will be there because here you have other components like uh, a VLDC outrunner motor there whatever you have seen that is a inrunner motor here we have a outrunner motor and here everything that we have aligned everything that we have uh, assigned or we have connected is run on a smart way because here I have a smart controller in every vehicle you have only one battery pack but in this type of controller you can run your vehicle into two types one is 60 voltage as well as 48 voltage within this you can uh, you can use this type of two voltage uh, two uh, voltage different battery packs and you can run your vehicle here also whatever the uh, indications 
here you can see here uh, some indications are there that is the default means uh, whichever uh, actually okay what happens here you can see there is no error okay previously uh, some error so i have rectified it here is no error so if i be just removing this all effect sensor here you can see there is a error motor error if i am removing any connections or any default will be there on my throttle there will be a throttle uh, 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 connection fault so here i can show or develop or give you output which part is being uh, like uh, fault or you can troubleshoot within this test trick the two test trick i have shown you you can just troubleshoot whatever the components will be having any defect or anything you can troubleshoot then we will be coming towards a advanced test trick this is a advanced test trick in this test trick what happens you can apply the loads in the motor means what is the you, if you want to prepare a vehicle or manufacture a vehicle what amount of load you want you can test in this test trick so every component is as well like meters uh, dc dc lights and everything is controlled and here you can just give all the data like this much load i want this much my current out uh, input will be there this my voltage input will be there and everything you will be just uh, putting it in this monitor then your motor will be showing you the result everything if you are uh, like uh, it is made for uh, like if you are publishing any paper or doing any research kind of thing this advanced test trick will be helpful to you then will be coming Uh, to our battery pack stations, okay? Our battery pack stations. Here, the battery pack station that we have designed is for uh, developing lithium-ion uh, batteries. Lithium-ion batteries. So here, uh, we will be giving you completely set up uh, like uh, the cells, the holders, the nickel plates, uh, the BMS, uh, the BMS wires, uh, soldering machines, multimeter, heat guns, so that you can develop your own batteries as well as and pack that. Okay, then when you come to the cutout section, okay, here uh, you can see one of your our cutout section is that controller, okay. Uh, controller, uh, this controller, how these uh, MOSFETs, MOSFETs, capacitors, transistor are used, and how, what are the connection you are uh, going? Where is the ICs? Everything you can look at uh, here, and you can assume that what are the components is being given to your controller. Here we have a completely open harness. okay where you can or your students can learn about each and every work of each and every uh, where inside it uh, so as like this uh, what is this work of this black color violet color so each and every work and how to connect the electric vehicle everything will be taught to you the same thing comes uh, to here also there is a open section of our instrument cluster that we have seen what are the systems we have in instrument cluster what are the ics what are the uh, uh, components we are adding so the same thing now we will be coming to the charger one here uh, the construction of the charger like what parts will be available what are the things so we are con- uh, having in the uh, 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 charger uh, what are the technologies we are using so everything you will be getting to know here we have another thing that is our differential in three wheeler we have a uh, differential which will be just giving me different speeds or which will be attached to the rear wheels system so the gear boxes and differential how it is been connected to the control uh, uh, motor and uh, what are the components inside that everything will be given to you so that the students can develop their own here we have two types of motor one is in runner motor that we have seen in the three wheeler and the hub motor that we have seen in the two wheeler uh, so what is the benefit of that here the inside part of the motor can be talk to your students or your students will be learning so how where is the hall effect sensors how the windings will be getting uh, power and how the connection will be there so everything will be given to you here we have some bms uh, power uh, bms controllers so inside part of the bms so these are the ics you can see uh, which will be uh, giving power like all the details or saving the all the details of your cells every cells will be having every individual ic so this also will be uh, given to a cut out section now a completely four wheeler simulator what is the use of this simulator here you can uh, see all students can learn about the four wheeler ep technology like right? how the wheels will be aligned or uh, what are the steering alignment okay uh, how the connection will be there how the propel, uh, propelling system will be there so a simulator where student can see it and test it and take a ride of this vehicle so that they will be getting to familiarize with this ep system Then when it comes to our two-wheeler section, here we have two things. One is no 
normal will be okay normal will be where uh, students will be knowing about uh, uh, the uh, there is a the tubular test tube we have shown uh, them by electric connection but in this uh, tubular vehicle what extra they can learn they can learn about the mechanical part how this fibers are made how this uh, mechanical parts has been aligned everything will be taught to them okay now here will be having here will be having a hybrid vehicle you know that uh, now in recent technology we don't have any two wheeler hybrid vehicle we have four wheeler hybrid vehicles but this two wheeler hybrid vehicle it is a retrofitted hybrid vehicle where students will be able to know how in a two wheeler in a in a two wheeler how the systems can be done you know that lots of developments will be there so student can develop their own type of uh, to, uh, hybrid type of vehicle, two wheeler vehicle Uh, from the engines and from the motor so here is a totally hybrid uh, electric vehicle where we have the engine powers and as well as the motor power so that's all from my uh, side uh, i hope uh, you have uh, gone through these videos and uh, uh, will be just helping you to reach out to the maximum uh, to give you knowledge and to enhance your student knowledge as well thank you have a nice day